down here. So let's just, so this is a good posting trot and every time you post, you press your knee down and back because the knee works as a hinge, right? So let's go ahead and go into a little jumping position. So you're gonna shorten your reins, go into jumping position, which we haven't done in ages. Good, right? And ideally we want our horse to be able to stay on the bit, whether you're in jumping position or posting. Then you're gonna come back to posting, down, down, up, keeping her a little bit off of the railing. Right, and then you're gonna ease yourself into a sit. When you ease yourself into a sit, good. I love it, huh? Yeah. So you got, you know, a nice base to your leg. The toe should be in a little bit. There you go, that's even better, lovely. And you're gonna take both hands to the inside, that outside, yes. Good, love it. Now let's go back into our posting trot. Feel for the, in no, you wanna take, yep. Take a moment to always feel for the inside hind leg. Could shorten up a little bit on that outside rein and then back to our little what we call light seat or jumping position. So it's not about how there's no posting and jumping position. Hands should stay above the withers. This is better. Good. And then back to your posting trot. So it's not about how high you go in the saddle, okay? It's about closing the angles of your hip, your knee, and your ankle using your leg as a shock absorber. Ab absorber. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So let's go to your straight line, and we'll do the 10 meter circles in this direction, right? Straight line, two feet off the track, 10 meter circle at either end or wherever you can fit it in. 